I need to just play better. Oh, I know. Dude, I, I should have beat you, man. I should have beat you. I got to win this, or I feel like I ain't going to... I don't think I'm going to make it to the playoffs. Because the Jets, I lost. I should have called a timeout, but... This, of course, the nightcap to a great day of football here on this Thanksgiving holiday, 2022. And he fires one that's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So they obviously decline that. And it is let's a Let's go. They still had the option. But let's face it. There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Extra point splits the uprights. And that makes the score 7-0. Dude, my thing is, so I cannot score when I'm in the red zone. Oh, no, I'm gonna beat you, man. I got to. Because you beat me two times already? Oh my god, he, he just got killed. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands to try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what Got to, man. Got to be locked in. My thing is, if I'm not locked in, like I said, like, it's just my offense. I got to get it going. Like, I got to figure out how to score. Like, my defense, I lie on my defense way too much. And that's what... That's what kills me. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they are losers of two straight coming into this Thursday night game. Is it more difficult, CD, when you take a losing streak into a quick turnaround game like this? It certainly is because you don't get time to work on the issues that you've had throughout the season that have caused you to have the record that That's a weird play here, man. Get those set. So now you're trying to minimize those and maximize what you've been doing well. And I remember a game recently where one of the assistant coaches said to the head coach, Forget our running back rotation. This guy has a hot hand. Oh, uh, I use a customized defense. And then I use... I just... I like the Tampa Bay uh, offense. Because I feel like it's more fits my QB. You know, Mac Jones can't throw. Needing only two yards to gain the first here. There we go. No chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, 
you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, oh, not necessarily yeah. just playing in the line of scrimmage. But you know I got that Baker. First down, Mayfield. A <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bro. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and That's what I'm saying, because I, I switch off with uh, Baker and Mac Jones. Because Mac Jones, like, you, you played me, like, he don't have that throwing, but all them short routes. Is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make Oh my god, that's just. I didn't even lob it. I didn't even lob it. Bro, why did he lob it? Oh, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's my bad. I overran it. My middle linebacker. I always throw a fucking pick. <laughs> I think that whole drive threw me off, but our, my tight end was wide open and cuts the ball. Right. Alright. Whatever. Bro, 14. Get this shit going. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Let's go! Let's go, Baker! That's what I'm talking about. The the Baker Mayfield, only six, one, but he can certainly sling it, and we saw evidence of that right there. Now a first down carry for Harris. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 
Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. Come on, 60. You got to make that fucking drive. Who are the freshest guys coming out of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Step on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, here's Harris. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous run. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. Close. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick here is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take right. the three, and it was a smart move. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, but the same tempo, the same pace. Still a lot of time. That dude was to make wide open. And that's football 101, isn't it? Tip your cap to the rookie. He knocked that one away, but he better not relax. They're going to test him all game long. On second down, Cousins again. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Almost. Almost got to the QB. Here's our score. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First, first. Throwing Cousins and complete right side to Cooper. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. I read that too. That's the, the crazy Vikings part. One and nine now on the year. And they come in losers of two straight, so try to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. Second and five. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. They'll throw again. Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. <laughs> Inside the 20. Okay. Okay. It wouldn't let me jump. Wouldn't let me jump. So, uh, so the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. It's a pickup of 
Cousins gives way to Cook. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Third down, Calvin Cook. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Only three there on the pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. And they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Now an end around his Cousins will just pop this forward. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Justin Jefferson with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Vikings are back within a score. <sighs> Dude, just him throwing that ball up should never happen. Should never happen. Like, it should never happen. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. It's ridiculous. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. All right. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. I go to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. He's able to find Melton. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Throwing again, Mayfield on second and ten. Dude, catch the fucking ball, bro. Oh my god, that is just ridiculous. Catch the ball. On third down, Mayfield. Eluding the pressure right. So, that's my Oh my god, why would I throw that? Oh fuck it. Man, that is just me. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Cousins. <laughs> Setting up the screen for Cook. And they're going to get this to about the 40 40 yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Cousins. Throw there, gonna be incomplete. Oh, that's gonna hurt a bit. 
bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth right. down. We gotta, we gotta step it up, man. Jesus. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try to put them there. Now a lot of guys just barrels on the sidelines to try to put the football in one. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Are you dude? Oh my god. I can't. I can't with this game right now. I can't, dude. All he needed to block the guy. Despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were gonna switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well in any event, the extra speed will offer great penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. A very solid gain of 27. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now he dumps this off over the middle. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Throwing again on second down, Mayfield. And he nicely will throw that one away. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play, and he's shown that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. And again, it's Mayfield. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Whatever. He will take this one home. It's a touchdown. <laughs> My whole season. This is how my whole season, man. Literally. This is how my whole season. This is fucking ridiculous, man. Whatever. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Like, I'm over this game already. He's going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Right. The pads at the line ready to go. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Runs over it. Pass complete across the formation to Melton. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mayfield to throw it. Another catch for Melton. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving that. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Nothing open down there. Hey, nobody so open. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. 
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. So we've reached halftime here on a Thanksgiving night. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. All right, come on. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. An explosive 38-yard pickup. Well, we've said it many times, Charles. When you have weapons like this at the wide receiver position, just get him the football any way that you can. And here, it's in the run game. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Stop made there by Brian Asamoah. Well, you know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Again, it's Harris on second down. And some space here. And he'll take it in the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, 30 yards. And the Patriots have retaken a third quarter lead. The extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make this a six-point game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying Damn. to match each other. You still there, Lane? Oh. Dude, this is intense, bro. This is like, this game is really intense. I have to win this. It's 21 to 27. Going, it's third quarter. It's crazy. Dude, that play is what the fuck? Catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. I tell you what, a lot of those mid range not the matchup because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. It's always gonna throw it to you, okay. Just shy of midfield. All right. I got it. Hold a gate up. of eight there on the play. 
And that'll bring up a second down and just a couple. We're good. We're good. I got this guy figured out now. Every motion play, it's a Justin Jefferson. Attempt carry in the game for Cole. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Here's Cook again. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, OK, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. Play fake, Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. It's been a struggle for him accruing yards in this game, passing the football. So there he said, hey, I'm going to try to chuck it deep, but another incompletion. Has to be a little bit frustrating because of what you just described. It's been a struggle for him here in the second half, hoping for one big shot to get him out of the doldrums. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Here's Cousins. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. So first and 10 now from the 30. On play action, Cousins. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Up the middle, it's Cook. He'll get about six there as he takes. Gotta the hold him, boys. Gotta hold him. This is it. I already know what players are used to. This should, if I play this correctly, I should hold him to a field goal. We've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Oh my! Why did you not stay there? It was your zone, bro. It was your zone. All right, we're done. We're showing blitz. We're done with this. Set him up with a first and goal. They'll run 
with Cole. Nope. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Oh, come on, defense. Come on. We are headed to the fourth here on Thanksgiving night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. I'm at the user. Room. This is it. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They try again with Cook. Yes. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. Oh, this is it. This is the ball game, I feel like. You got to hold them. You got to hold them. No, like, this is it. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Now Cousins. Yes. Zone, but it's incomplete. The coverage we just saw break out on third down. Dive deep. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. The field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find it. Go for it. Make my day. Make my day. Make my day. Go for it. Come on. I know you want to go for it. Ah, oh, man. You got to kick a field goal. So now one of the biggest Damn, I got all happy. It's forthcoming. This an easy one, 23 yards. If I score a touchdown, GG's. That's my. And his kick is good. I have to score a touchdown. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Oh my god, because we're not. I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. <sighs> oh, here we go. The pats at the line ready to go. It's crazy, he's Fourth blitzing quarter, too. They cling to a three-point lead after the field goal a moment ago. And it's certainly a very critical drive with still a good chunk of time remaining. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And the slot man goes in motion left. Harris going to get it again on second down. Come on, Harris! You. We rumbling, boy! Across midfield. 89 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? On second down, this is Harris. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, 
Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. And let's close this one out. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And it'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails kind of settle things down a little bit come on i'm going i'm going with my running back he's been killing it trying to pick it up on the ground with he gone let's get it and he's in touchdown patriots damian harris with his second touchdown of the game number seven on the year and the patriots are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead Point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Stick with the running game. Nuwagu now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Nah, what a what now to start their next drive well that last touchdown we just saw what an important one now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone a first down throw for cousins oh going for jefferson downfield he rifles one that's intercepted it's kyler duggar who picks it and the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this one. I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when we see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And some room to maneuver. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 152 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On the give, this is Harris. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 155 remaining. Defensively, they know the situation. They stacked the line. Heck, that was a goal line set right there. And it's the right play for them, exactly what they have to do. They want to take away every gap, every crack, and make sure no one can get through it. But here's the deal, though. You've worked on offense all year long about these types of defensive fronts. If they can penetrate it at all, your runner has a chance to go a yeah, long say, way could, behind. It could be a house call. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them.
An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. They hand this off to Harris. Call it no game there, and it leads to a third down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage. But you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. This one is right through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And only able to get this to the 19. Ooh, what a game. For the touchback. What a game. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. Meanwhile, Cousins' throw pulled in by Jefferson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 18 yards the gain for number 18. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Cousins. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. To the air again, it's Cousins. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Marcus Jones picks it, and the Patriots are going to get the football back at their own 17. And that's now a half dozen interceptions for him over the last two games. Because CD, remember, he threw three in the last ball game, and now three more here. And the way that you present it, partner, I'm not sure what sounds worse, right? Half a dozen over the last two games, or three in the last game, three this game. Either way, it's way too many. And that's something they'll have to work on, hoping to get through the rest of this game without having to address it again. Oh, man. Good fucking game.